Hello and welcome to Sports Fan Entertainment and it is the most wonderful time of the year as we begin my 2019 NFL mock drafts. Now these are my quote unquote unofficial mock drafts as we don't have the draft order set yet but we're going to go ahead and start anyway. We're going to get going, get rolling. Rivalry week was last week. A lot of teams are now done. Some teams are still going to go. They're going to play the CFB playoff and all that BS but for the most part, we've seen these players play throughout the entire 2018 season. We know how good they are for the most part. And some player stocks are going to rise and fall, and we're going to account for that. But for right now, let's go ahead and make our first 2019 NFL mock draft. Now, here's the deal. I've done no evaluations thus far. I've watched literally nobody. I've watched a little bit of a player here or there when I've watched college football games. But I haven't sat down and watched Nick Bosa. I haven't sat down and watched Quentin Williams. I haven't done that yet. So I can't tell you how I feel about all these players yet, but as the weeks go by and as I begin my own evaluations and my own scouting reports, stay tuned for that. We will go ahead and discuss all of that. So please give me feedback on this mock draft. Again, this is a collaborative effort on this channel. I want to hear your guys' feedback because one of the reasons why my mock drafts are always consistently the most accurate on the web, people. I mean, you will see my mock draft up there with the absolute best. It is because I listen to you all because a lot of you guys know about these players. You know about your teams. You know what your coaches and your favorite uh, teams, what they want to do, your GMs, what they want to do, who they're targeting, what they evaluate, their biggest needs are, and who they're likely to take. I think it's a collaborative effort on this channel. This is why we've been so good. It's why we're going to continue to be so good. So with that said, what are these significant Kid picks in this 2019 NFL mock draft. Let's start with the quarterbacks because they are always the eye candy, but apparently they may not be in this 2019 NFL draft as not many people are excited about the quarterback class. Now I'm hearing good things about Justin Herbert and not great things about anyone else. Now Justin Herbert, 6'6", coming out of Oregon, has the arm, has the potential. To me, he's not crisp yet from what I've seen. Again, I will evaluate him. In fact, he's probably going to be the first player that I evaluate for this upcoming draft cycle currently i like what i see i'm encouraged and i do believe he will be the first quarterback right now taken off the board but again that's right now uh, we still have a long ways to go and the giants they better be careful because they've been in prime position to take the first quarterback off the board in this upcoming 2019 nfl draft but the Jacksonville Jaguars recently stink, and they are starting to rival the Giants' stinkage. Uh, the Jaguars could easily be picking before the Giants in this upcoming draft, and even if they're not, they could easily trade up before the Giants to take Justin Herbert first. So now we have a real competition here. It was looking throughout September and most of October, the Giants were going to have sole positioning in order to take the quarterback that they wanted, but the Jaguars' recent stinkage is going to allow them to take a quarterback as well, and maybe even leave the Giants and take a quarterback before they can. So I have the Giants taking Justin Herbert, and I have the Jaguars taking Will Greer, and I do believe the Jaguars are now done with Blade Bortles. And this is saying a lot, okay, because this is like saying the, the the girlfriend that's taken abuse from their abusive boyfriend that they're finally done are they finally ready to leave the relationship you want to believe so I mean they should have left a long time ago but you never know they like abuse for some reason they've been conditioned to it they become desensitized to it. you gotta wake them up you gotta shake him you gotta say please leave the abusive relationship the Jaguars have not shown the ability to commit to this please leave Blake Bortles and the abuse that he's been giving to you please Jacksonville or maybe not right because I'm a Titans fan so maybe I should wish them to keep Blake Bortles and to stay in their abusive relationship with their quarterback known as Blake Bortles, who, as I tell you always and every time for the rest of life, he stinks. I mean, seriously, people, he stinks. And they're finally realizing that, but again, we have to see it to believe it. Outside of that, okay, can someone tell me this? Apparently, Ed Oliver is falling down draft boards. He's been injured recently. He yelled at his head coach, and I've seen him mocked as low as 8, 9, and even 10. I'm going number 70 Atlanta Falcons. Tell me if this is fake news. I do hear that Quinnen Williams at a fit to tackle out of Alabama. People love him. He might be the best player out of this draft class. I did not have him going number one though. I do still believe that is reserved for Nick Bosa and he's just going to do so well in the process, especially during the combine. 
and all those athletic activities that he will be taken first overall but again we will see this is a long process and we're just starting it so i have bolsa number one quinnon williams number two clellan farrell number three defensive lineman running things early in this 2019 nfl mock draft i also have daniel jones the quarterback out of duke going to denver although case Keenum looked decent in their recent win this past week against the pittsburgh steelers i think they realized they need a quarterback of the future in case Keenum is not it. Daniel Jones, I've heard mixed things. I've heard he's not very good. That maybe I should have Drew Locke instead of Daniel Jones here. Tell me what you think in the comments below and we will discuss all of that. And for the Tennessee Titans fans, look, right now I have us taking the first wide receiver off the board in Nikhil Harry out of Arizona State. This might be a pipe dream because I think John Robinson might want to stick with this stupid receiving core that we have. I fear that he's going to believe that Corey Davis and Taewon Taylor will improve and even Tajay Sharp and they're going to be good enough next year and with Delaney Walker coming back that we don't need a wide receiver and it's the same BS he told us this past draft when I said we should have took Calvin Ridley and not that Calvin Ridley is great but imagine having Calvin Ridley on this team you'd have Corey Davis, Calvin Ridley, Taewon Taylor, Ty J Sharp our weaponry looks better then you get Delaney Walker and the things look good and now you have Calvin Ridley coming into his second year as opposed to perhaps Nikhil Harry in his first. And Harry could be better in his first than Calvin Ridley in his second, but I would have preferred having that second year guy. Are we going to take a rookie here? I mean, obviously, this wide receiver record needs a veteran. Are we going to spend the money for that? You could have traded for Damaris Thomas and Golden Tate or even Amari Cooper, and you didn't. So I don't know what John Robinson wants. Okay, I just don't get this guy anymore, and I never really did. So I don't know. This is probably a pipe dream. I'm probably going to switch to us taking a stupid defensive tackle in my next mock draft. But for this mock draft, I have us taking a wide receiver in the kill Harry. So with that said, what are you guys thoughts on my first 2019 NFL mock draft? Comment down below. I want to know. Again, let's get feedback and then I'll listen to y'all's feedback and I'll update. We're going to do these bi-weekly at least for now and then we'll ramp up and do things weekly probably starting in January or February. So I hope you all are looking forward to that. Until next time, this has been MJ of Sports Fan Entertainment and I'm out. See you all later.